Across the country, parents and activists are speaking out about failing grades and test scores when it comes to basic education in America's public schools. Recently, the St. Louis School Board did come under fire, accused of providing black students with an educational environment that leads them on a path to incarceration. And joining us this morning is activist Chester Asher. Good morning to you, sir. Thanks for joining us here on the National Desk. Good morning. Thank you. So you spoke about a school board recently, and I pulled some of the test scores in St. Louis public schools, and I found this. Only 15% of elementary school students and 13% of middle school students were able to read at grade level, and it was worse when it came to mathematics. The stats were worse, where just 10% were proficient. First, I want to uh, understand, what, what do you make of these test scores? Um, it means death uh, for our kids in our community, both literal death and economic death. and so. Uh, all, St. Louis has uh, the highest murder rate in the nation. That is not unrelated to our uh, educational system. And so when kids can't read, when kids don't have hope, uh, uh, career and college prospects, uh, many of them, um, not most of them, but many of them turn to a life of crime, uh, turn to violence, turn to gangs, uh, turn to things that can make them money and give them the types of life lifestyles that education cannot because they're not being provided with one. Economic death because they can't apply for a job they can't some of them can't even read the applications they can't uh, compose convincing cover letters and so it, it literally means death in our community and chester 78 percent of students in st louis public schools are black and you've been working in the education field for more than 17 years you're the founder of a charter school that focuses on helping the most vulnerable students tell us about your program and what brought this issue to your attention and what brought you to St. Louis? Yeah, and so I started Ali Academy, a social justice uh, charter school. Uh, but in Missouri, you need a uh, university sponsor to start a charter school. And um, St. Louis Public Schools, the, the, the traditional school district, um, not only uh, does not want to educate black kids, but they uh, really actively seeking to obstruct others from doing so as well. And so uh, St. Louis Public Schools threatened our university sponsor and said, if you sponsor Ali Academy, uh, we will uh, stop our programming with you. Um, and so, you know, you have a school, a failing school district threatening a university to uh, not start a public charter school. Uh, and for me, that speaks to a, 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 a deep level of racism, because not only do you not want to educate black kids, but then you don't want other people to educate black kids as well. It's like stabbing someone in the back and then also puncturing the tires of an ambulance so that they can't get help. And you spoke at the school board meeting and demanded that they, they act on this. And here's some of what you said. We grabbed some video of this. Will not stand here while you engage in faux deliberation or remain silent while you pave the way for incarceration. You applaud yourselves while allowing our schools to pile black bodies on top of piles of black bodies, because that is the result of an educational system that does not educate. What was the school board's response after you gave that speech? Nothing. They sat there and uh, said nothing, and, and too often they do nothing. Uh, you have some fabulous people. So you have some fabulous teachers in St. Louis Public Schools. You have some uh, fabulous leaders like the uh, Dr. Uh, Smith, who's the, uh, one of the deputy superintendents. You have a new superintendent. We, we wish her the best. But decade after decade, the school board in St. Louis has shown that they do not care about black kids. Uh, because they refuse to educate them. They refuse to set a citywide goal so we can hold them accountable for literacy. Um, and it's purposeful. And, you know, honestly, it hurts. It's, it's, it's painful and tragic for our children and communities. What's been the response from parents there? And, and Chester, ultimately, what is the solution here? And so parents want change. Um, they uh, want their kids to be able to read and access uh, high-paying jobs. Um, and so we are pushing for the city to uh, set a literacy goal, um, to say, you know, in, in, in 10 years, we want 80% of our kids at least reading on grade level. Uh, and so I started uh, um, the coalition with STL Kids. You can uh, find it on Facebook so parents can join. We're gonna have parent workshops, uh, literacy workshops. We're also going to go to board meetings and demand more change. Um, and, and really demand that the, the, the board actually discuss academics and literacy uh, and math uh, at their board meetings, because right now they don't act, uh, 
talk about academics. And so it's really weird where you have an academically failing school district that refuses to talk about academics. Yeah, Chester, from a personal standpoint, very briefly before we let you go, talk to us about your background very quickly and why you're so passionate about this. Yeah, I did Teach for America in 2003. I've uh, been in classes for um, the last 20 years. Uh, I've been a principal. Uh, I've been a CEO. I've been um, a, cons a now educational consultant uh, in St. Louis and around the world. Um, and I know that um, this, that education can really lead to empowerment and freedom where you can, you can make uh, something uh, beautiful of your life. And without it, uh, oftentimes uh, you're limited. You're limited and condemned uh, without a strong education. Chester Asher, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Best of luck to you. Have a great weekend, Thank sir. you.